If you give a horse a name like Churchill, he'd better be good. And Churchill the racehorse most certainly was. Very simply with Churchill, we're talking about a champion two-year-old who trained on to win two of Europe's premier classics. Churchill's initial success came in the Chesham Stakes when he became the first son of Galileo to win at the Royal Meeting as a two-year-old. Churchill from Isama, Churchill nearside, Churchill has won the Cheshire B for victory. Ryan Moore, his fourth win of the week. Two easy group wins followed at Leopardstown and the Curra. Then it was time for a step up to group one level. Up towards the finish now and Churchill is digging deep and beginning to open up as they go towards the line and Churchill continues his winning ways. It's a good national stakes and this is a bloody right good winner too. He's a classy horse with a classy pedigree and uh, he's got everything you like. I'd say he's a smart colt, a very smart colt. The following month it was off to Newmarket for the Dewhurst. He is an absolute dream, isn't he, watching looks him go it, yeah. to post. He, he's just perfect. He, he looks the real deal. Churchill beginning to stay well. And he's come clear in the style of a really class horse. Handsome is as handsome does. The winning margin may not have been significant, but he is significantly superior to his rivals. Churchill is a superstar. He's always going to win. Yeah. Um, he's a very, very good colt. Uh, Ryan summed it up well. You know, he, in his eyes, he was always going to win. He's got a huge amount of belief in this horse, and they probably haven't gone that quick. Despite everything, I, I, I think he's put up a really good performance. He's had to travel three or four wide. He does everything that's asked of him, this horse, and he's only going to improve with time and over further. He's a big, very physically very imposing horse. He's probably more imposing than two-year-old than we've ever trained. He's massive, he's big, powerful and great mind. And I think the interesting thing that always struck me watching Churchill was his physical presence. He encountered a little bit of trouble in both his Group 1 wins as a two-year-old and he came off as having really mastered the opposition in the physical dimension of the race as much as just running faster than them. And of course he showed that again for his two Group 1 wins as a three-year-old as well. His next season began where it had left off at Newmarket. Now I've had a good look at these horses here in the parade ring and I have to say Churchill, I can't fault him, he's physically an impressive specimen. He's tall, he's strong, he's well muscled. But it's Churchill who's taken command at the near side running rail and leads the Guineas field with 100 yards to travel. Elwood Kerr on the other flank from Lancaster Bomber, Churchill's in front narrowly on the run to the line, Barney Roy and Elwood Kerr come, but Churchill won the Guineas. Churchill won it, very tight for second, Barney Roy and Elwood Kerr, Lancaster Bomber, right on their heels with Eminent. Churchill, the boom two-year-old, has made a triumphant return, and it's a record-breaking eight. Kipco 2,000 guineas for Aidan O'Brien. Churchill it is, who won the guineas for Ryan Moore. He's such a lovely horse. I mean, he's never going to be ultra-impressive, but he gives, he gives you a feel. He's so much power there. He's a magnificent mind, you know. Um, you know, I think, I think, he, I think, he, I think he has everything you want in a racehorse. He's, he travels. He's got speed. He's loads of class, and he's the most beautiful horse you see. Later in the month at the Curra, he made it four straight Group 1 successes. As he rates inside the final furlong and Churchill the favourite beginning to assert and racing up towards the line. Churchill completes the Guineas double, wins it by about two and a half lengths. Thunder Snow good runs second. He picks up well and does it well, but I said there's plenty in the tank. By the incomparable Galileo, Churchill comes for a remarkably fast family. I remember the exploits of his granddam Airwave incredibly well. She won a Chivley Park Stakes back in the early 2000s for Henry Candy, beating Russian Rhythm. And you knew then she was a brilliant, precocious talent. And it's, it's lovely that she's been able to pass her genes down through her daughter, Meow, to, to Churchill, and also to Churchill's full sister, Clemmy. So this is a page in the stud book that is getting better and better and better all the time. And this is now a bona fide stallion's pedigree. And the interesting thing about Churchill's form is that he beat very fast horses like Blue Point and Nemas, but he also beat the cream of 10 furlong the 10 furlong class like Eminent and Barney Roy and Al Wu Care. So he beat fast horses, he beat strong staying horses. It didn't matter to him, he just adjusted his game. Because if you have got that ability to travel really well, 
and you are a strong finisher as well, then whatever's put in front of you, you can adapt to the test that's required. And that he proved impervious to circumstance during that run of Group 1 wins.